In this video, we're gonna go over the other three types of simple machines. The first one we're gonna talk about is an inclined plane. An inclined plane is simply a ramp. It's a flat surface that's set at an angle and it has no moving parts. You can lift a load easier just by pushing it up an angled ramp instead of lifting it straight up. The mechanical advantage of an inclined plane depends on how long the ramp is. If I want a mechanical advantage of four to one, then I need to make a ramp that's four times longer than the height at the end of the ramp. A wedge is a triangle shaped object. It functions as a moving inclined plane. You've seen wedges before. If you ever used an ax, then you've used a wedge. Wedges are used to split things apart. Because a wedge is just like a moving inclined plane, we can use the same equations to calculate IMA and AMA for a wedge. The last simple machine that we're gonna talk about is a screw. I'm sure you've all seen a screw before. A screw is a grooved item that we often use in construction. When we talk about screws, there's a lot of terminology that often gets lost in the mix. The first one is effort arm distance. This is usually the radius of the head of the screw or the part that the screwdriver goes into. If you're using a screwdriver or a wrench to attach a screw, then the effort arm is actually the length of the wrench or the screwdriver's radius. That's why if you're attaching a heavy bolt, like on a tire, you wanna use a tire tool, which has a longer length. It allows you to have a greater mechanical advantage to attach it. When we read the specifics of a screw, we need to understand what all those letters and numbers mean. The number in front tells us the diameter of the screw. The next number tells us how many threads per inch there are on the screw. The last part is the description of the thread. In this case, it says NC. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video with us. We hope you learned something. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. For more awesome engineering videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.